good morning to you all and welcome to another episode of Kenyan's Kitchen. So before I go any further this morning, I just want to encourage you that despite of this whole pandemic, despite of this uncertainty, that God is able, God is real. You just trust him, just find something to keep your hope up because it's, it's, it's rough out there, a lot of uncertainty and a lot of persons you know, don't understand what is going on and just praying for things to get back to normal. So I just want to encourage you. I just want to lift you up and, and, and let you know that it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Yes, it's rough. It's uncertainty out there. But it's, it's going to be okay. And God is able. And despite of, despite of everything and all that is happening in the world, he is still good. He is still keeping us. And we are to be grateful and thankful for that. Now, with that being said, I have something very lovely for you guys today. Yes, man, it's early in the morning and I decided to just start off in the kitchen very early today. Because I love when my Sunday dinner is very early. So today, what I have for you guys is coconut curried tofu in coconut milk along with that is some pumpkin brown rice yes so i have some nice delicious delicious meals for you all today because you see when you cut meat from your diet so all the vegans out there all the persons who want to give meat a break i have something lovely for you I'm going to make this tofu taste like a chicken man. You know the chicken breast? Yes. I'm going to spice it up and nice it up as you think that it's chicken you're eating man. So when you cut meat from your diet because you know meat is a big part of protein. So you want to ensure that you get enough protein in your meals, in your diet. And what better way to include protein than to have some tofu because it's Packed with protein so I am going to nice it up for you man delicious man in some co and another thing I want to point out you see if you see something looking funny and I'm or I'm not looking in the camera or it seems just see with me guys I'm very new to this and I am learning as I go along so sometimes when I watch back my watch back my videos it seems like I am looking at myself I am looking in the camera and to be honest I don't even know what is happening because when I turn the camera so sideways I don't know where to look because oh I think the camera is on this side but when I look at this side I think I'm looking at myself I don't I don't I honestly don't know what is happening but whatever I'm learning as I go and this is new to me this whole video thing this whole camera thing is very new to me and as I go and get more practice, go along and get more practice, it will become better. So just stay with me for the meantime. Uh, yeah. All this. When you see all of this, you know what is about to go down. Nothing but deliciousness. So for all my vegans, for all my meatless people, for all the persons who have decided to give meat a break, I have something lovely and delicious for you today. Something lovely and delicious for you all today. Yes, so I have here my tofu so today i am going to do some curried tofu in coconut milk and as you see here i have my real hard coconut when i just ox out yes i have my coconut that i just ox out yeah man i love to use this coconut you can also use the the thin one or the 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 pack one 
if you prefer but i prefer my real coconut you know so what i'm going to do i'm going to blend this and and extract the juice from it and use it inside my curry tofu man yes and with that curry tofu i am going to do some coke some sorry some brown some pumpkin brown rice so you see over here look here i've already diced up this pumpkin man yes and my brown rice the brown rice i use is grace natural long green brown rice yeah man this one is very good i i love this one but you can use other brand also so for my brown rice for my rice in here may have some scallion i have one green scotch bonnet pepper i have thyme i have um garlic and i have ginger so i am gonna go ahead now and um wash my my rice put on my rice with my pumpkin and all of this stuff put a little salt in it a little coconut oil in it yes man and let it go on you know cook in the meantime and for all you persons who have never cooked brown rice um i have someone telling me that um they were trying to cook the brown rice and it 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 wasn't cooking it takes forever to cook so yes brown rice is um take a while to cook and it need more water than the regular the regular rice yeah it need a lot more water than the regular rice so i'm gonna show you the amount of water i use to cook about not all of it not even half because the thing with brown rice it swells so and it's just for me and my husband so yes so i'm gonna show you the amount of water i use in it then i'm going to come over here look here and show you all of these i'm gonna show you how i i cut my tofu in chunks and um over here that i'm going to put in my my curry coconut tofu is all of these lovely seasoning so i have my my onion i have my onion my ginger my tomato my carrot my garlic my thyme and my pumpkin reason i use the pumpkin i want it to give it a text creamy um a, a thick creamy texture a lot of persons use um cornstarch and other stuff for their gravy but i try not to use cornstarch in my in my meals so i always add stuff like excuse my toddler she's she's entertaining herself yes so i always add pumpkin because you know after pumpkin is cooked out it gives you this thick, very rich, thick flavor. And you know, over here, so I have um, my scotch bonnet pepper. I'm just going to drop that in it. Make sure so it's not burst or anything. I'm just going to drop that in it. So it gives it the flavor. And up here, I am going to mix this curry. This is the better pack curry with my turmeric. Because I, I, I figure I... You know it give it a a, a a lovely taste and a very you know nice flavor when i mix it and here i use my all-purpose maggi seasoning in it i i have another seasoning that i use for the vegans but today my husband don't really like that one so today i'm using the maggi because it's just for us so i'm just gonna use the maggi so I always use a what? Mr. Dash, I think I saw it name, but it finished now. I don't have any of that. And I'm go, you know, I can't cook without my cayenne pepper. So you know, I'm gonna put a little cayenne pepper in both the rice and both the meat. Um the tofu. Sorry, you hear me I say meat. Yes, man. Guys, if you hear me saying yes, man, all the while, just see with me. It's it's it's, it's a thing. You know, one of those words we just keep talking and you you don't even realize that you're saying it yes that is me with the yes man thing so i'm gonna go ahead now and wash this off and dice it up yeah and then i'm going to come back 
and then I'm going to come back and go ahead and blend my coconut <coughs> milk and I have a you know overripe planting here you know you can't make the planting spoil so you have to find something to do with it so I am going to go ahead blend up my, my coconut cut up my tofu wash it rinse it cut it up and then I come back come show you how you know I add the seasoning to hit and everything to hit all right me soon come back said so, yes guys yes guys so this is the pot with the brown rice i already washed it and this is the amount of water i put in it i don't know if you can see i use my finger to measure it so it's about two cups of water two cups of water it's about up here above the rice yes so at this point I am going to go ahead and add my pumpkin yes ma'am add my pumpkin and go ahead and add all of these seasoning my garlic my scallion my pepper my ginger yes and I'm going to give it a stir. I've gone ahead and add some salt salt for um for flavor so you can add salt to your flavor don't worry about the size of the pumpkin they are going to you know crushed look at that oh my god it's when this start bubble and if you like to you can also add coconut milk to this too if you like I've already had coconut milk to to previous one I done and it's lovely lovely so I'm not gonna add any coconut milk to this because I'm going to al already go and add coconut milk to my tofu but what I'm going to add to this is some little coconut oil look at that yeah man so this is going to probably take about uh, 45 minutes to cook because remember I tell you that brown rice take a longer while to cook and it take more water to cook so yeah man this is it so I'm gonna come back and show you after it is cooked what it look like all right look here guys look here Look at all this flavor. Look here. Wow. If you could only smell. I smell the ginger. I smell the pepper. The aroma that is coming from this pot is divine. My God. Look, dear man. My Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, man. Nice. Yes, guys. So I have gone ahead and blend my coconut milk. Yeah. See it here? Look how creamy that is. Yes. Creamy. So I'm straining it in this now. Mm-hmm. Squeeze out every juice out of it, you know. Cannot waste it. Very precious. You go in there and squeeze, man. Squeeze out the juice. Squeeze out the juice. Mm-hmm. Seems I'm going to have a lot of juice more than I'm going to need, but can always put it in the freezer and freeze it and then get it to use another day yes man go ahead and squeeze it creamy So I put down these in here so wash my hands. 
so here is the tofu guys let me bring this up the tofu yes you see fat and firm so what you want to do with your tofu when you have it like this now you want to slice it into cubes or square yes so i've gone ahead and i rinse it off so i'm gonna slice it yeah man as i said when you cut meat from your diet whether you cut it completely or you you know you don't have it as much as you used to you need to have as much protein in your diet as possible and what better way to get some um, protein you want to get these equal but seems like it's not going to work I want to get some nice fat chunks so while I cut these I'm going to rest them and I play it with um with paper towel because um tofu tend to absorb a lot of water a lot of moist so you're going to just rest them there for it to you know for the napkin to um absorb the the water from it so you're gonna get them in a nice fat chunk so you can get them bigger if you want it's all up to you how you like it I like them like this yes man full of protein yeah tell you a little thing my husband um the first time I cooked it to hit for him he said that he didn't like it it tastes like sponge because apparently wherever he he um have it before <laughs> It wasn't as good as mine. So after him have it, it turned out to love it. So you make these absorb soup. You damp pad it a little. So you get out some of the water out of it. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and add some. So you're gonna add about this amount of seasoning all purpose maggie season remember i said i use it when i'm preparing um for me and my husband otherwise for my healthy customers i use um another one this is turmeric you remember i said i'm going to need about this amount of turmeric yes you put it there I remember I told you I'm gonna mix mix my turmeric with my seasoning my curry I'm gonna mix my curry this better pack curry with this yes man yeah say yeah and then you're going to mix mix make sure say everybody mix up mother father sister brother everybody combine in one because you want to know when you touch the tofu everybody is in a car dance all right so you get this ready here so so you come over here so now here i have some already chopped garlic and ginger so I put it with the tofu so it can be absorbed in it yeah man ital is vital yes can just imagine how this is going to taste so you get everything in your bowl here get it everything in here and then you're going to apply put this over here so you're gonna add some little coconut oil and I add a little coconut oil on it first to just absorb the seasoning about this amount if you can see yes man put it all over heat man and then you sprinkle your all of your season them pani yeah oh we forget to put my cayenne pepper 
can just come here some man and put some of this on it, man. Cayenne pepper is vital. Yes, guys. Yes. You want to be, you know, you want to be gentle with these because you don't want to, um, they are very tender. You know, very gentle and you turn and you twist. Make sure so everybody, they're very gentle and um, easy to break. So you have to um, be very gentle. Let me see if I can carry it up. Right. So you want to be very gentle with it while you turn it. And make sure so everything everybody get a touch of the niceness of the spice yes guys so here i have the pot on i'm going to add some coconut oil remember virgin coconut oil the cold pressed coconut oil i'm gonna add some of it to heat about this amount Yes, man, you're going to suck. Yes, everybody get a touch. So after I do this now, I'm going to let it sit for a little for the season to be absorbed in it. So that nice. What color is this? What color is this? Is this orange or yellow? My daughter could tell me because she knew all the colors yes nice yellow color so i'm gonna get the pot ready while this i soak up in the season and then me come back and show you what i go on from what i go on all right yes guys yes guys let's open this wow look at that so i'm gonna go ahead now and take out all of this take out the pepper you don't want the pepper to get you know bursting it opening it yeah man look there look there yeah man i see my don't know you know don't finally i have it on a very low flame you take out all of these skeleton and time. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that lovely yellow. You see the pumpkin. Yes. It's lovely, lovely. Come out lovely, lovely. Yes, yes. So I'm going to just give this arm. Um, Say about two to three more minutes on a low low flame yes yes all right guys soon come yes guys so here i have the pot on i'm going to add some coconut oil remember virgin coconut oil the cold pressed coconut oil gonna add some of it to heat about this amount yes man you're going to suck yes guys so i've add some coconut oil to this and then i'm just going to add um add the seasoning all of these lovely seasoning yes so they can start it yes man Saute in the coconut oil. Give it that nice flavor. Look here. Look at the colors. Look at the colors. Yeah, man, you're going to have this on a low flame because you don't want to burn anything. You know, you just want to. Make everything absorbed in the oil and saute. 
yes i still have some chopped scallion and green pepper bell pepper sweet pepper so if you have i only have the green one today but if you have the yellow and the red that's even better give it nice coloring so the bell pepper we jamaican call it green um sweet pepper yes sweet pepper it's the same as the bell pepper you have it in different colors i only have the green but i'm not gonna put them in it until it's almost finished because i love my my pepper chunky crunchy i should say crunchy yes so I'm gonna leave that for about a minute or two to saute and then come back. Yes, guys, everybody get a touch. You see how them color change? They're a little tender now. But we're not gonna overdo them because remember, we're going to cook it down in the tofu with the tofu. So we're gonna take these out now and we're going to add or a tofu for it to brown I mean give it a little brown yes I normally add a little curry in this oil but I'm not going to add I'm just gonna go ahead and um, add it in when I'm doing the tofu I'm gonna get these out of the pot yes I'm back so the same oil the same oil, remember to have this on flame now, this low flame. The same oil with all of these. Mm -mm. Smell that aroma, man. Jesus. The coconut oil, may I tell you. The coconut oil, man. Two things you're going to realize about me. I love curry and I love coconut. Yes, so we're going to put them in, in it like this because i remember when you know when i kind of cut meat from my diet because i tell you every day it would be chicken 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 morning noon or night we would have chicken you understand and um i realized that when i decide to you know cut chicken from my diet i am um, I didn't fancy all of what I was doing at the same time but because I love coconut so much I realized when I add coconut whether the coconut milk or the coconut oil it just give it a different taste a different there's just something different about it the aroma the taste the flavor the coconut just bring out everything because even people would ask me why it tastes so different than when we do it <laughs> my secret ingredient coconut milk or your coconut oil so you're gonna allow these to brown they're very tender you know, so you don't want to break them up you want to um, take time them start to stick, stick to the pot so you have to make sure say, it is on a low flame low flame i'm gonna use a fork and turn them let them go on brown on this side and then come back all right yes guys you see this this is how you want to get them you see how this brown and crispy yes you want to get them to this um this color yes so they almost finished so what i'm going to do now I'm going to add the coconut milk to this. Yes, man. Mm -mm, smell good, you see, man? What shall I know? Guys, look at that. 
so you're going to warm at this point you're going to add a little more curry but you're not gonna add the curry in like this because you don't want it to be lumpy and um stick up you know when you put curry in in stuff like these in the pot like this it's lumpy so what you're going to do going to come over here and you're going to add some of the coconut milk look at that in the curry and little more your turmeric yes because you want to get a good flavor you know you want to get a good flavor of your tofu you don't want it to peel and you see because you add the coconut milk that is white it's gonna take away most of the coloring so you're gonna go ahead now and you're going to add this in your tofu with your coconut milk yes man what you do now you turn this up not on high enough because remember you don't want to you don't want to burn them and you don't want to um and you don't want to to over cook them yes so the pumpkin that i tell you about that is, that is going to give it that um sauce that thick sauce i'm going to add it in now yes man gonna instead of you use all of those stuff cornstarch and all of those stuff use other base for it man you see that bubble i'm gonna add the pumpkin now yes yeah add the pumpkin in so you see the flavor and the texture change yes the pumpkin and mash out in there man yes so i'm gonna cover this now for simmer on a low flame and then i come back and i'm gonna add the rest of my season yeah man you know the one that when you put put aside over there so yeah man i'm gonna come back and add them in yes my beautiful people yes my people and at this point now yes man it's been here about six seven minutes at this point you're going to come and you're going to add the rest of lovely seasoning them boy look here look how that nice look at this mm -mm. Look at this man. Yum yum. Yum. So you're going to add your at this time you're going to add your pepper, your sweet pepper, your bell pepper. Yes. Then you give it a stir. Stir up everything in there. Zimmy. Vital is vital. Tell them already. So for the vegans out there, for the persons who want to give meat a break, or want to leave meat alone for good, I promise you, you won't be disappointed if you try this. You see? You see the texture change and everything? nice and thick now you know yes yes guys this is what i want this is what i want to see yes eating time now well i think for this week i need to shut them up for the evening yes eating time now mm -mm. look here look here uh -oh. Eating time now. Look here. Look there. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm. 
Christ. Self-praise is no recommendation, but may I tell you, no man, this need crowd, this need crowd, babes, Mikhail, yeah, we know I'm not sure what yours yet, but taste ya. If it is the meat to man, eh? No meat, no, no, this. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> wow. This all that flavor? Coconut? Hmm? Mm hmm. Yeah, man. Lovely. Mm -hmm. It is good, babes. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Look at this chunk. Don't look, don't, don't this look like chicken breast? Don't. Mm -hmm. I'm an avocado. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. And I play ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People. I'll put it somewhere. Ask Mikia for it. Lovely. Lovely. Mm -mm. We should be spinach just serve the rice and spinach. Eat it. Mm hmm So the planting. Mm hmm Guys, I promise you, you have to give this a try. Please give this a try. So my vegan persons, people want to cut meat from their diet. People want to try something different. Whatever it is. Try some coconut tofu, curried tofu. Mm -hmm. Your country, the carrot is mm -hmm. some of my carrot, very country. So, there you have it. So, there you have it for today. So, please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already like comment tell me what you think about this and go ahead and try it and let me know how how, how it is when you try it all right thank you again